Hey, Orange One here. So we're just uh, recording again post-production. The last one I actually had recorded audio live. I know, it was kind of weird, huh? This one we're going to be doing more of the same. You know, I think that these, these gameplay videos, a lot of people really just like watching a ton of them. <laughs> so although it's more of the same, it's going to be good action. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this character is just getting more and more powerful, so we're just able to do more and more crazy things. It's been pretty fun to play as. I've been really, um, enjoying watching playing this game after the fact while I'm, I'm not at my computer. Just so you guys are aware that, uh, basically, I'm away from my computer for like two months, and I pre-recorded a few things with this and the Kenshi just to get myself set up. I actually record way too much Kenshi, and not that much of this. I don't know, I felt like the Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. I've been waiting for the version point .f to drop, and it's just not been happening. <laughs> but yeah. This, this was some, one of those games where I was like, well, it's like about as good as it's gonna be in the foreseeable future, so I might as well record it. Because you know the developers aren't gonna be changing or updating the game in terms of anything that's actually important anytime soon. And by that I mean, you know, consulting native people, because they've still not done that, and they've doubled down and basically just said, oh, you were rude, so we banned you. Like, I did get some response from them since I last said anything, but it was a very, like, pathetic response, where they basically were like, you were mean, that's why we, we got you banned. And it's like, well, if I was mean, there were people saying literal hate speech towards me, and they're still part of your Discord. And they're like, you haven't blocked those people on, on Twitter. <laughs> so it's pretty clear that they just are using those, those rules to just do whatever they feel like doing. Like, AKA, they're going to not have any issues with any actual bigotry. But they're going to have a ton of issues if you You're probably <laughs> looking for this. Go check say it. anything bad about the game. Please stop. I'll tell you where he is. He's over there. Or I don't know bad anything about else. The game. Just things that you're like, here are some suggestions. Like I've I started off with like, hey, I like this game, here are some suggestions. And like the the response from the community was like just Lords screaming, and then the developers were basically like, yes, the edge lords can scream, and they're entitled to swear and say offensive anti-Native American like hate speech. And that's fine. But God forbid if you <laughs> criticize us. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the one thing that I, I would say to add on to that from the last few times is that they cannot and still not have told me why I was banned, even when I directly contacted the, the company um, through the company email, they just basically said, oh, well, you were mean, and very vaguely, and it was just like, they can't give an, a reason, because they know that anything that I've done, their people have done ten times worse, and they don't want to say what they banned me for, because it would instantly mean that they should actually have banned, like, their entire community. <laughs> it is what it is. Bad mods, right? Yeah, honestly, I think that it's Discord's problem at this point. Like, Discord has is willfully allowing people to operate hey, like guys, that. Guys, it's a body. Nope. Everyone, get ready. I gotta lay low. Here they are. Cover me. I'm reloading. <laughs> see, this is what happens when you make. Hey, I see Discord someone. Now, huh? <laughs> Take cover. Also, um, I think I said that I, uh, Do you see them? Because I'm in the middle of the move, and it's. Oh my god, uh, I got two headshots, here. three headshots from that far. That, that was like. I felt a little bit dirty about that. <laughs> I'll admit that felt a little bit just too easy. Clearing out those three without them even getting a chance. It was just like whack, whack, whack. The sound, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's never fun moving, but it's for a good reason. I'm having to move due to um, 
my wife getting a job, so basically, that's a good thing, right? And I actually have been applying myself, and I, <laughs> I've gotten too many interviews in the last, like, week. It's been way too many. Yesterday, I had three. <laughs> in just one day. And then today I had one, and then tomorrow I've got another one. And then, like, three days from now, I've got another one as well. I think that basically all the schools realize that they have money now. <laughs> That's good. It's a relief. After like, you know, looking and looking and not finding anything, then all of a sudden you get like a ton of offers to pick well. Flood. <laughs> not a drought, it's a flood. <laughs> kind of thing, right? Okay, so yeah, I think that we're just trying to get our people further further forward at this point. I don't think I've gotten to the town yet, have I? There's a town up there somewhere. Grootford is sending a group after Wallapack, so I think that I'm going to go cut them off, I'm pretty sure. Because I've been keeping an eye on when the groups get sent out and trying to cut them off. Honestly, the, if you do that defensive-wise, it, it does cut off. But you have to be worried also about like the caravans. The caravans, man, that's the worst part for me. They always mess me up. Or mess up, not me, but my, my people and my supply chain. Can't mess with that such a supply chain. So, I mean, I know that I can't do a whole lot of, like, taking requests, but what would you guys like to see from me? Are there other games that you'd like to see me play? Or when I come back, would you like me to continue this? So I think I've got a solid viewership of, of these videos actually now. It's actually, if you look at my analytics, the, this land is my land, analytics-wise. It's not beating Kenshi, but I mean, if you look by the search term, my most searched term is this land is my land. But then I've got a couple things mixed in there below that. It, it's so weird if you look at the top YouTube searches that are tied to me because it's like, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. But then there's one, the Dark Outpost, which I have no idea why those three words have been tied to me so much, but. It's like boosting my last Cataclysm video, in which we go to like a, a military outpost or something. <laughs> it's dark, I suppose. I don't know. It's weird. It's super weird. I have no idea. There's also David Zublik, which I don't even know who that is. Who is David Zublik? And why am I being associated with them so much? Oh man, history of propagating conspiracies. Great. That's that's not good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder why I'm, I've got that association. Why? Is, is, is there a way for me to find... Oop, there goes that guy. Nice and quiet. Yeah, there's... What was I'm not seeing any reason why... Why I would be associated with a conspiracy theorist person. Oh no. Because of you guys, right? My audience. I wonder how many. What's the correlation between conspiracy theorists, like YouTubers, and like other channels? Like, what's the algorithm really? How's that done? Oh yeah, these guys are a little, a little close, and they're standing there. 
costume, I'll give him that. Yeah, this is where things are just, like, a little silly. I'm, I'm like, kind of just not really being smart about how I'm engaging him. But I wanted to. I'm trying to figure out, is this really a good idea or not? I'm doing it. What was that? The enemy! They're here! No, we're not. This guy well. hasn't seen us. There's no one that's around here somewhere. Enemy sighted! Oh man, I actually couldn't see him on my laptop. I'm watching. I'm pinned down. Lower resolution. Stuff. Oh, they actually got me. Yeah, regretting my decisions. That guy's actually almost got me there. Ouch. <laughs> it looks like we're okay. I never know, I know you're out there. if we're about to lose Get more out. health or not. There's someone in here. Out here. Cover me! I'm reloading! I think after our friends. They're here! I see them! Did he shoot one of them? He might have shot one of them. I think we're sending our buddies to flank. Where are you? There he is. Yeah, he didn't even need them. <laughs> I mean, they got me in the arm, to be fair. They did kind of hit us. Okay, there's a post wagon there, apparently. I might go after them, just because post wagons can be really good. Especially at this point in the game. That's good loot. Is there any tutorial videos that you think that I could do for this game? That's like things that people might still have questions about. So I, could do, I could do stuff like that. I think that, that always helps. But I did a couple for this game and some of them did okay and some of them didn't do as well. But I think that's because I didn't do as many. I think it's like with any thing, if you do a playlist, it, it builds, they reinforce each other like analytics wise. So I know, Matt, that you're probably going to be upset about this, and you're probably going to hear about this like way after the fact, but what do you think about the, um, the COVID vaccine passports being used for actually traveling between countries? Because I know that you were feeling that it was kind of like, not good for like, people being required to do that everywhere, but I feel like at that scale, right, you don't want people going internationally. Who aren't vaccinated. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's not like a complete yes or no. As well. I just saw that in the news. I was like, ooh, that's gonna be thinking about that, I'm sure. This is the part of the game where, you know, I typically have been trying to edit this out of when I'm, I'm recording, but because it's just kind of being all done at once, I included it. So, pause the game, because, you know, we can't have them running around when we're, we're doing that, those things. We actually have a, a little army now. We've got quite a few people. I think that I'm trying to get them set up in a, in a base that we could upgrade for them. Almost positive. Gotta make sure that we're hydrated. <laughs> do you guys have any ideas for like war paint uh, bonuses that you would do? Like what would you do for some of those things? Because I think that the bonuses that they have in here, there are some decent ones, but like I feel like I never see any new ones. And I'd be interested to see what they do. Though, honestly, the thing that they need to fix, first of all, is just the pathing, you know? I just want caravans to stop being stuck on things, and horses to get stuck on things a little less. So 
so also I'm gonna complain a little bit about work. Don't you hate it when like people collectively all decide to be lazy and you're like, wait, what? How is this happening? How are we all agreeing to like not do what we should be doing right now? <laughs> It's just the number of things where it's like people are supposed to be working together and people end up saying, hey, can we just all take this time to like do our own grading? It's just, just I don't know. It's disappointing. It disappoints me. Oh, these guys are on foot. Oh, this is gonna be good. Just a bunch of dudes running around. You know what that means. Oh no! It's a wolf! Oh, there's a wolf. Reload. This could be a little sketch. Oh, I think I kind right, of remember there's an this. Enemy. this. Might be. Bad. You cover me. I'm reloading. Shooting Reload. my friends. Yeah, I think I kind of remember this. If I do, this is good. Not. Oops, there's one person. Yeah. Definitely lost at least one person. But we definitely hurt them. These people are probably pretty happy about the fact that they got to be involved. It was a team effort. I think we lost like three people at least there though. <laughs> that was pretty brutal actually. We lost quite a quite a few. Completely unnecessary. I was just, I could have taken them out, but they, they called out for the wolves. Which is weird, because there shouldn't even be wolves there. Hey, you guys, we don't need you. The front line, you know, you only need a small group. Really, only one or two people is all you, all you really need to distract the enemy. It's either one or two, or you get like 40 people and you roll around with the whole army. You know, it's also something that I've been having to kind of deal with is the new place I'm living. It's so loud. The kids are so loud. They, they keep on doing these emails, like the rental company, like basically like, hey, you're responsible for your kids or whatever, or they're just being loud, which is unfortunate because it's like, you know, this is COVID times and like the whole apartment complex with all these kids basically going to school at home, but it is very loud, it is very distracting, so as a, a person who's living there, it is frustrating. But we keep on getting these emails where they're like, hey, like, we can find you. Oh look, there's Redstone, there's one of the towns. <laughs> found a town. Hooray! <laughs> so that, you know what that means is that we gotta get ourselves a little bit built up around here to take that place out. That's how it works. We gotta do it. That's for them. Yeah, I felt really bad when they actually called the cops and had cops roll through the complex and they're like little kids. They're like just a bunch of little kids playing being loud and I think that you know there has been I think some damaged property they said I have no idea what that is and what extent that really means but and it, it was sad seeing a bunch of little kids like do I get the police in their apartment complex and they're just literally just playing maybe they should be more supervised but I don't know. One of those things. Where I don't. I don't have the solution. I'm just gonna complain. Look at how much sinew we have at that one place. We've got nearly 300 sinew. And I did see online there's people who are saying that you can um, have people loot places by like having them attack the place that you've already cleared. And if they don't get told to burn it down, then you can just keep on coming back and looting it. I'm not sure if it's true or not. To be honest. We need 
other stuff. Including warriors. <laughs> I think it's just for sending one more to send and then be able to do the numbers a little bit there. Yeah, you gotta do a little micromanaging. I thought figured out this little thing where you could do the um search by the word and then find it in your camp. Maybe I should do that as a little tutorial. That'd probably be worth it. I just need to get the timestamp, so give me a comment right here so I remember. <laughs> Can you do that for me, Matt? And others. I know I'm always talking to one person. That's because they, they would comment if you'd like me to be putting your name in here. Just talk to me. <laughs> I think at this point I was just like, oh no. There's a town. Charged up here and there's a town. There's like ports and other stuff that we just passed and didn't clear out. Yeah, it's with two people, and I think we don't have the rope to add. If I put that in there, but I guess I haven't. Oh, we're actually very low on the rope. Do we even have enough? I think we might not even have enough. Oh, we do. We do. Just about. Okay, so that means that we've got a little forward base that much closer to their, their main town. Which you know we gotta take that out. But I mean, last time we charged straight in and that was just bad news. So I think that we might be a little bit smarter. There's also animals. I have to keep that in mind. There's animals pretty close. It could just attack us, and that could end us. So let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's be a little bit smarter, right? Maybe we'll collect ourselves, heal up our arms so that we don't have that wounded arm. Do, you know, do all the things that you gotta do. Messages, ah, notifications, I hate notifications. Good, yeah, good. <laughs> it went away. I feel like I must attack someone one more time before this ends, right? Because, like, why would I include this if not? Maybe it's me just doing a little bit of base management, though. That could happen. I, I've definitely done that before. I think at this point, I have been still importing. Um, materials from Blue Claw quite a bit. <coughs> so that's why we have like these board pelts and stuff. It's just like leftovers from our previous imports. Um, I think that we, at this part, have a, a solid home base down there and like various little things up here in the northeast. And so they're able to produce, yeah, I was just checking their rope production because we're getting to the point where it's like we we need more than what we're producing and I don't want to have to pause in the middle of a recording. Like, I'll pause in between recordings and shift some of the materials around, but... You know. Gotta time that. Yeah, I think that we prob it looks like we're probably just shifting a bunch of resources around. I wonder, you know, with fan art, how many people do fan art for this game? I haven't really seen any. Uh, it's probably for good reason. Probably. <laughs> given, you know, how offensive people could think the game is, the art, you know, <laughs> probably going to be offensive as well, knowing them. Though there could be some interesting things that could be done, I suppose. 